Hi, this is Alec, and this video is a demonstration on how to install the way switch indicator for both low and high switches or with square mounting. Start by removing the original switch target and shaft from the switch. We will replace this on the low throw switch stands with a square mount um, with a the way switch adapter. If you have a high mount, or a round shaft, no adapter is required. The weight switch target comes with a male and female plate. They should have opposite colors for each opposite side. Remove the protective film and place the switch targets together so that the arrows line up next to each other and the tails next to each other as shown in the video. Now you're ready to actually install your switch indicator. Making sure that the tracks are clear, um, go ahead and first line up your switch so that you're lined up to the main lead. And we're going to put our arrow, our uh, main lead arrow, which in this case would be green. We're going to match that up with the gap on the right. So the gaps on the right going to the lead. We're going to point our green arrow to the right. Once you have the gap corresponding with the arrow, you can go ahead and throw the switch. So in this case, again, we have the green arrow pointing right corresponding with the gap on the right. Ready to throw the switch. If the switch throws correctly, you can go ahead and bolt it in and mount it, and it's done. In this case, as you can see, the arrow rotated and the arrow turned right. Um, so now we have a yellow arrow on the right, but the gap is on the left, so this is incorrect. So we're going to go ahead and take the switch off and fix this. So to do this, line it back onto the main, line it back up to the main so your green arrow is correct. Remove the target, keeping it intact, both arrows intact and completely flip the switch oh, the switch target over. So the green is still pointing to the right, but now the arrow, the yellow arrow, is pointing in the opposite direction. Once you've done this, go back, throw the switch again, keeping the green on the main, throw the switch over, and now the yellow arrow should be pointing left, and the gap should be on the left. The main thing to note in installing these is that if you can get the main lead correct with the green arrow pointing to the right side, then all you're required to do, if, you, if it's not flipping correctly, is remove the switch indicator, um, both arrows, keep them connected and flip them over completely and place it right back down on with the green landed up to the main. Um, every single time, it'll work. Once you've done this, you can go ahead and install the mount. Make sure to double check the switch target before you mount it. Um, go ahead and, and bolt the switch target to the shaft. And now we're going to do the same installation process, except for this time, it will be on a high mass switch target. So first thing we'll do, just like in the last time, is we are going to line the track for the main lead. We're going to use the corresponding color, which is green for the main, um, to match the arrow and the switch point. So the gap for the main is on the right, so the arrow is pointing right. Go ahead and throw the switch once you have it lined for the main. Once again, we have incorrectly throw, we have incorrectly um, installed the switch target because we have an arrow pointing to the right, but now the gap is on the left. So what we'll do, same thing we did last time, we're gonna remove, we're gonna go back over to the, line it back for the main, pull off the switch target and flip it over uh, 180 degrees over the vertical axis. So flip it over completely and put it right back on to the switch shaft, right back on to the um, switch, still with green line to the main. And one thing we just wanna mention is that the beautiful thing about the way switch indicator is that they always work. On every switch, they're adaptable to every switch, um, and you create uniformity throughout a yard by having the same colors, the same arrows that make sense and that correspond to the switch points. Um, installed correctly, these will reduce derailments and make switching safer. So go ahead and once you have it lined up, um, once you have the green back on, throw the switch and now as you can see the arrow taking the switch is lined to the left and your gap is on the left. You can take the switch indicator at this point, bring it up to the top of the shaft and mount it into the, um, just directly into the actual switch shaft. As you can see with the low throw switches, it's the exact same thing. Um, if you get the main lined up, all you're required to do is, if it doesn't throw correctly, 
pull the target off, flip it over 180 degrees and put it right back on. The last thing you want to do before moving any trains over the switch is to just double check your throws. So if your arrow's on the left, track's pointing, the arrow's pointing left, the gap's on the left, throw the switch, the arrow's pointing right, the gap is on the right, and make sure your colors are correct. So green is on the main, yellow is on the taking the switch. Thank you.